Welcome to Bolivia. A couple of years ago, if you would have asked me to show Bolivia on a map, I probably wouldn't have been able to point to it. And now it's a country I think everyone should put on their travel bucket list. We entered Bolivia through Peru, and it was actually my first time ever crossing a border by foot, which means we actually got to stand in two countries at once. Our first stop was Copacabana. It's a tiny little town on the shore of Lake Titicaca. There's a lot of special things about this lake. First of all, it's the largest freshwater lake in all of South America. And it's the highest in the world at 3,800 meters of elevation. After having a couple peaceful days here, it was time to move on and head to the capital of Bolivia, La Paz. It's the highest capital in the world at 4,100 meters of elevation. A couple of fun things to do here are ride the cable carts, walk around town, go to all the local markets. And probably the most original thing that tourists do here is go watch these kind of wrestling match, but they're more of kind of like a theater comedy show. Then it was finally time to make our way to uni, which is the main reason we came to Bolivia in the first place. From uni to the border of Chile, there's so much natural beauty to see. So we decided to do a three-day tour to explore this whole region. So basically, there was six of us in this 4x4, and we basically did three days of just a lot of driving and exploring the whole area. They showed us this railway that goes all the way to Chile, so behind that volcano you see is Chile. Before visiting the famous salt flats of Bolivia, we went to a museum and they showed us how they actually collect, process, and make the salt. And then we finally made it to the world's largest salt flats. It's over 10,000 square kilometers. And they think it was formed by a prehistoric lake that was here maybe 40,000 years ago. You're probably noticing that the entire salt flat is basically a bunch of hexagon shapes. And this is actually naturally occurring. Basically, when it rains, a thin layer of water spreads across the flat. And when it starts to evaporate, the salt starts to dry and contract, which causes tension. The salt will actually pull evenly from all directions, and this causes hexagons. We spent some time here taking silly pictures and videos. was time for lunch on tables literally made of salt. All our food on this tour was pretty basic but really good. Right next to our lunch place is actually this place where anyone can leave a flag and if I would have known I would have loved to put down like the Acadian flag there. Then it was time to visit this place that they actually call an island because it's this random patch of rock in the middle of the salt flats and it was really really cute and full of cactuses. We hopped back in the car and our tour guide prepared us a little snack to watch the sunset with. We sat down on the salt flat and enjoyed literally the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen in my life. Our accommodation for the night was a building entirely made of salt. The walls are made of salt, the floor is salt. And it was so dry in there, but it was actually really comfortable. The next morning, we hopped in the car again and we went to a lagoon where we could see flamingos. It was actually my first time in my life seeing a flamingo in the wild. Look how pink and cute they are! Then we made a quick stop at a red lagoon before going to see another animal and these are the cutest things in the world. I'm not too sure how to pronounce what they're called. I think they're called Viscachu. They kind of look like rabbits but anyways we spent literally an hour just trying to pet them and feeding them. Our last stop for the day was these geysers and although they look super cool, I wish you guys could experience the smell. 
It's disgusting. It smells like rotten eggs. But on the bright side, our hotel tonight had an incredible view of a volcano. Our last day was basically just a lot of driving before making it to the border of Chile. We stopped at a couple of cool places though, like this green lagoon with a view of a volcano. And then we made it to Chile.